In this video, we will begin using the program on shape. You will begin to create a robot arm. This robot arm will be a little bit more complex than the one I've done in my previous video. We're going to start by create, selecting the front plane, selecting the front view from our view queue, and selecting the front view and just zooming out and panning over slightly. On our, with our front plane selected, we're we will click the sketch button to create our sketches um, for our robot arm. I'm going to begin just by creating some uh, templates, some lines that I'll use as templates. Uh, this line will be seven inches in total. We're going to make our robot arm about 20, 20 inches total. So the upper arm is 7. From the end point, I'm going to create another line. This will be the elbow. I think we'll make this a sphere. It's 2 inches wide. I think we'll make the lower arm six inches and then we'll put the hand at the end. I'm not going to draw any templates for that. I'm just going to leave our geometry as is. <clears throat> this looks good so I think I will click the check mark. I'm going to copy this sketch With my front plane selected, I'm going to start a new sketch. Let's see if we can paste these. So, sketch two and sketch one. Both look like they occupy the same space, which is good. I wanted to use this one as a guide for the elbow. Let's hide sketch two and turn sketch one back on. We'll select sketch one. I believe we can edit this at this point. going to create a three-point arc whose endpoint is here and whose other endpoint grab the same value. <clears throat> what I might need to do <clears throat> is put in vertical lines here. Let's make that one unit tall. And from the opposite end, we will draw another line that's also one unit tall. From the midpoint, it's a dimensional line that is 1.5. That will be the center point of our arc. One end, the other end, and then this one can go right there. <clears throat> I like that. And in fact, I might 
create my lower arm as well at this same time. So let's bring this line up. We'll make this one slightly shorter than we made um, our other line. I might even put a smaller, maybe 0.75 at the wrist. And now we will connect these with our three point arc start point, end point, and center point, and we'll hit the check mark. We'll select sketch one, and we will execute a revolve. The revolve axis will be this line. Notice that both our upper arm <clears throat> and our lower arm are revolved. I really like the arc that we have in our lower arm. I'm not too happy with the arc that we have in our upper arm. So I'm going to <clears throat> edit this sketch. I'm going to increase this value. I think I like these values a little better. Now when we select sketch one and revolve around this axis, that's incorrect. Select the axis, there we go. And we'll check mark. That looks good. I'm happy with that. Next, we will go to sketch two. <clears throat> and we can edit sketch two. <clears throat> At this time, we can trim this bottom half of our circle. <laughs> then selecting sketch two, we can go to revolve. Choose our axis. That should revolve the half circle into a sphere. And we look good so far. All right, with my front sketch plane selected, I'm going to create a new sketch. I'm going to create a very small circle, and I'm going to snap it here. I'm going to try to remember these values so that all of our uh, detail values are the same. Let's choose point two. Moving down. Actually, we might need to do these um, individually. So let's hit our check mark. Let's select sketch three and let's do a sweep. I don't believe we've done sweeps yet. So when we look at the arm, the arm has been bisected by our front sketch plane. That's pretty important. Next, on our front sketch plane, which is cutting the arm in half, I drew a circle on the edge. For our sweep, I've selected the region to sweep as the circle, and our sweep path will be this edge. Notice that it puts a sweep of that circle all the way around. I like how that looks. 
at the end I might end up cutting out a section for the shoulder but for now this detail looks good <clears throat> we'll hit the check mark select our front sketch plane we'll go into sketch mode So far so good. I like what I'm seeing. I have a nice upper arm, I have a acceptable lower arm, elbow. <clears throat> I believe that at this point we can go into our top view, select our top plane, and create a sketch. That's a busted thumb, but it'll be what it'll be. All right, at this point, I think I'll scoop out some containers, make like some little hidden panels. So we will, again, select the front viewport and create a sketch. <clears throat> 